Welcome to the Land of House channel. I'm Seth. Behind me, I have a one inch ram pump. This is an off grid water pump that sends water from my creek up the hill to a storage tank, about 35 feet of lift, based on about seven feet of input head pressure. So, whenever I put this pump in about five years ago, I did a bunch of testing in the winter time to see how it would react to freezing. And this year, when I turned the pump on, I realized the air that was in the pressure tank started to uh, leave the tank quicker than normal. And the pump started to hit hard. Now by hitting hard, that means the uh, ram pump does not have a cushion of air inside the pressure tank. And so every time the water hammer hits, the whole system jars real uh, violently. I'll show you that on my drive pipe and delivery pipe here in just a moment. What happened was the cap on my pressure tank developed a small crack and it was letting all the air out. Well now that crack has become a lot larger and there's no air in this pressure tank and so the system is hitting really hard. Let me show you that real quick. First of all, you can hear the drive pipe is making a cracking sound all the way up. Next, you can see the drive pipe is bouncing more than it should. And then another sign that's really indicating of uh, hitting hard is the delivery pipe jumping. That shouldn't be. So check this out. There is a small squirt of water coming off the back side of the pressure tank with every cycle. So that means there is a crack right here on the tank and it's letting a burst of water out, which means it was letting out a burst of air every time it was hitting before that. So let's test out something here. I close this delivery. Let's go ahead and also close the drive pipe. I can let out some of that water. It's gonna replenish some air here in the tank and we will uh, start this up again so you can hear what it's like to have some air in the pressure tank. Okay, that's enough just for the testing purposes here. All right, so you can see there's plenty of air in there. Let me go ahead and turn this back on and we should hear a difference in the sound. See the jump is gone. Now that air is almost out of there, but let me do this. See, there's no more jump on that either. But as soon as all the air escapes from this tank, pressure's almost gone. I'm seeing some jump occur. Now I have four different sizes of ram pump available. Links in the description down below. Both the pre-assembled and the do-it-yourself kit. If you have an issue where your drive pipe is hitting hard and you see the delivery pipe bouncing, it's probably not an issue with a cracked or busted pressure tank. But every 30 days to 60 days, the air bubble that's in the top of that tank will start to dissolve in the water and basically all the air will be out of that pressure tank. So to fix that, I prefer to close the drive pipe, close the delivery pipe, open the pump and let that tank drain out and then hook things back up again. And you should be good to go for another 30 to 60 days of that pump running nonstop. And that will keep that uh, water hammer from being hitting too hard and also have a better flow rate out the top. Okay, to fix this problem, I'm going to be cutting off the top of the tank and then putting a new cap on here. And that should fix us up here for this pump to continue running for the rest of the season. <clears throat> There's enough pressure being lost up here. I'm surprised this pump is still even running. All right, let's go ahead and remove this cap. Let me turn off the delivery going uphill. turn off the drive pipe and now I need to relieve the pressure here on the pressure tank Let that drain out for a bit 
I had installed this Union years ago, but to be honest, it's uh, so tight that it won't really open. And so I should be able just to spin the, oh, well, let's see what we got here. Huh. Well, there you go. Just came right off. Now, if I wanted to do that, I couldn't do it. All right, there we go. I think this piece will stay down here. Very cool. All right, let's head back up to the house and uh, replace this cap that is busted. I pulled the old inner tube out. I have found through some research that that does not do anything for the pressure. I figure while I've got this uh, opened up, I might as well see if I can't uh, do a little cleaning. I'm interested to see how well this pump performs with a cap on the pressure tank that is working properly because this cap had the potential of being busted about two years ago whenever I did my full winter time test. So anyhow, we will see how well this thing does here in, I don't know, I might give this 30 minutes to make sure it's totally cured. Okay, I'll let this sit for over 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and get everything attached back together and see how well this does now that it doesn't have a big old crack across the cap. All right, hopefully that's tight enough on that. All right, let me close this valve here. If I open this one, it should fill back up a bit. about right there. Looks like it's holding pressure a lot better this time. Nice. You'll notice the water in the tank is only about halfway. That's closer to what we're supposed to see in this ram pump. So I think that crack has been in the cap now for at least a year, maybe even longer. Cool, nice to have that fixed. Now that I have an air cushion in the pressure tank, let's take a look at the hitting hard effect. See so if you go over here, that delivery pipe is not bouncing whatsoever. No bounce at all. So now if we move over here to the drive pipe, no more bounce there. And you can no longer hear that hitting hard sound as it shatters up the drive pipe. So if you have a ram pump and you notice that the delivery pipe is bouncing and the drive pipe is making a cracking sound and also bouncing, then you probably have a waterlogged pressure tank. That's where the air in that pressure tank has dissolved over time into the water and basically it's just full of water. So every time that pressure wave hits or water hammer, the whole system jars. The air pocket that you have in the pressure tank it acts as a cushion so that there is a little bit of give every time that pressure wave hits. So definitely uh, close off your valves, open your pump, let that pressure tank drain out, hook everything back together, and I think you'll see much better results. So in my system, I had a crack in the cap and that's what allowed all that water to uh, build up in there and all the air to escape. So you probably won't have that in your system unless the cap has frozen and cracked like mine had over the past year or two. All right, if you want to check out my pre-assembled or ram pump kits, I'll have links in the description down below so you can check those out. I'm Seth with the Land of House channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.